Hello everyone, hope you're having a great day. My name is James. Today is Wednesday, October 24th, 2018, and let's get started with some good news. Our first story is in Pittsburgh, where we have celebrities and news organizations alike celebrating the life of Albert Lexi. Sadly, Albert passed away earlier this week at the age of 76, but his legacy and passion to help others will surely stay with the people of Pittsburgh. From when he first started working at UPMC Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh in 1981 to when he retired in 2013, he donated $202,000 worth of shoe shining tips to the Free Care Fund. Now, the Free Care Fund is an organization that makes sure that every young patient receives the medical care that is necessary for them regardless of the family's ability to pay. Now, Albert, he would start his day early at 6 a.m. and get to the hospital to start shining shoes usually around 7.30 a.m. And even though he had donated that incredible amount of money, Albert only made about $10,000 a year. Now he's quoted saying after his retirement in 2013, you know, all he wanted was to see kids get well. Just to see they got well and got better, you know, things like that, it made him extremely happy. Now because of what he's done for the community, he has received awards, recognition, and even media attention for everything that he's done, and that is obviously well-deserved in every way. Now, even though his life and journey may be over, what he did with it and how he helped those around him will and should stay with us to tell us a story that if you really want to help those around you, it doesn't take much to do it. You just need to find a cause you're passionate, passionate about and go for it. Because if there is a will, there is a way. And so our next stop is in West Chicago, where a young man is taking the hard-hitting news of losing his vision in stride. So in West Chicago, we have Josh Bangard, a 15-year-old that has just been told he has Leber's disease, which is a genetic mutation disease that can cause an optic nerve atrophy. I mean, it's like a mouse that has been chewing on a TV cord pretty much. Now, upon hearing the news, both Josh and his parents and siblings were obviously devastated. Now, with Josh knowing he wouldn't be able to play all the sports he loves or even be able to see his future children, he took it in his stride. All he wanted to do was make things better and stay positive. And doctors, I mean, they even predicted that he will have 90% of his vision gone by March. Though with all this bad news hitting, he won't let it tear him down. Knowing that all of this is sure to hurt the family, he realized the only way to get through this is to stay positive. He had to realize that there is so much that he hasn't seen, he decided to go ahead, get his piece of paper, get his pencil, and make his bucket list. He decided to cross every single one off before he couldn't. Now, friends and family have raised more than $41,000 through, through GoFundMe to help Josh see the country before he loses his sight. Now, so far up to this moment, he's gone to see his favorite baseball team, the St. Louis Cardinals, play. He's visited the beach in North Carolina with family, went to the Golden State Bridge. He, he awed in the beauty of the Sierra Nevada Mountains and Yosemite Park. He has even been to Chicago Bulls game and plans to see the Grand Canyon Niagara Falls, and a whole bunch more. Now, with all of that, what he's really excited for is to play his final season of school basketball. But what makes it all the better is that his dad will be coaching for that season. So, with that story, what I'd like to say is that I mean, even in the darkest times, when everything seems like the world is hitting you with everything it has, you have to stand straight, look at it dead in the eye, and just say no. You have to be there and say that you will turn it into something positive for you and for those that love and care about you. And so our last story is from the great Stephen King. Now King, after a whole bunch of success, he had decided early on in his career to join the Dollar Babies program. And for those that don't know what it is, really simple put, it's just a way for those, you know, with success like him to sell unadapted stories to students for heavily discounted prices. So when he had got wind that some film students from the Gwent Film Academy wanted to make a film adaptation of The Stationary Bike, he was all for it and insults them for the whopping amount of one dollar. So when the news got back to Gwent that he was, uh, he was down to sell it, they went into full production mode. Right now the script is 